Hello and welcome to our Stainless Steel 6.4 campaign. Today we will be playing as the Crusader States in the later era, 1220 AD. Our victory conditions is to expand to 50 regions, hold these provinces, eliminate the Ayyubid Sultanate and the Seljuk Sultanate of Rom. Our battle difficulty will be set to hard and our campaign difficulty will be set to very hard. We will be playing a long campaign of course. We will not have a battle time limit. So let's read about the Crusader States. The Crusader States are the newest Christian kingdom being founded at the end of the First Crusade in 1099. Having recently inf inflicted massive victories both on the Turks and the Fatimids. The states have some room to breathe for the moment. The Kingdom of Jerusalem incorporates the city-states of Antioch and Edessa, as well as the Jew, Jew of the three regions, Jerusalem. The states are made up of Western Christian nobles, native Christians, Jews, Orthodox Christians and Muslims. As a result, a certain degree of re religious tolerance must exist. The Frankish troops and peasants are too few in numbers to have it any other way. The Kingdom of Jerusalem is ruled by King Baldwin I, taking the throne after his brother Godfrey perished after just one year on the throne. Baldwin has a difficult time ahead as he faces serious manpower shortages both for civically and militarily. Maintaining the alliance with the Byzantine Empire could prove to be a wise strategy in the face of the, of the inevitable Muslim retaliation. A wise ruler would seek to bring the coastal cities under the Crusader control or looking towards richer cities inland such as Damascus and Aleppo. The Crusader States relies heavily on the might of, of Western troops to make most of its army at the time. Military infrastructure, as well as capturing some of strategic castles, has to be a priority for the fledgling kingdom to survive in a hostile new land. However pious, the strength of a new country should never be taken for granted. And I will put up sub mods on the screen so you can take a look at them. But with that said, let's go right into it. Here's a message from the team who made the map. I've read it all so many times. A new threat. News has spread from merchants from the Far East, who speaks in great fear of a fierce warlord from Mongolia, named Genghis Khan, who has amassed an unstoppable horde of cavalry. These Mongols are reportedly sweeping across Transoxania at a frightening rate and look set on continuing westward, either no north or south of the Caspian Sea. That's not good news. So here is our kingdom. We have Kerak, Jerusalem, Acre, Tortosa and Nicosia. Since I have already... I have planned the first turn, I kinda know what to do. So firstly, our economy is in the bottom of the barrel. Therefore, we're going to be building land clearances in most of our cities. Nicosia is going to get a communal farming. Jerusalem is going to be getting a St. John's Minor Shop chapter house since i like the knights hospitalers more than the knights templar 
I know the Knights Hospitallers are more for defense, and the Templars are more for aggressive attacks. With, with our buildings secured, we're gonna take a look at our, our diplomat. We're gonna ally ourselves with the Papal States. Maybe we can get a hundred florins from it. I see no good. problem here. It is goodbye. It has been a pleasure. We see you. Now let's go to the Sicilians. Très bien, Senor. Oui, Senor. Looks to have a good force. Then we're gonna be taking our diplomat bien, towards the Byzantine, oui, at once. perhaps, Stopping or perhaps here, the Venetians. We the do not know yet. Out, and with that, we're gonna be taking one oath. But first. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be needing one more agents, a priest, we only have a priest here in Tortosa, we're gonna be building a watchtower here. Setting a vigilant watch here. We're also gonna be building a watchtower here. We hiding on your order, Seigneur. Setting a vigilant We're also going to be moving our Templar sergeants to G G Jerusalem. By your will, Seigneur. We're going to be building a priest, another spy. We're also going to be building some foot knights of Jerusalem, some Saint Lazarus knights, some light men at arms. Five minute arms. Some spearmen. Upgrade some mounted sergeants. Building some spearmen in Nicosia. Building a boat in Jerusalem. We're also going to be moving our second diplomat north. Stopping here, senor. Something like that. Our plan is to take Antioch. That's fine. This army can move together with the galley. Everything looks good for now. Ready to say. Let's put the boat here. We are full set. I don't know if I'm missing anything. Cannon knights, maybe. Yeah. God's We're son. also gonna be moving our in God's name priest here. I did play. Maybe two or three rounds Master. before, so I I have a small idea of what the enemy is gonna do. Anyway, let's go to the next. Senor, let's go towards the next turn.
This is what I saw during the last turn. Last time I played. The enemy is moving all of their armies out of their capsules. But since I didn't see it on the first time I played my two rounds, I'm not gonna take advantage of it. So here is here is where I kind of left off during my preparation period for how to play the first turn. So now it's all new. We're definitely gonna want to fix our population growth problem in Jerusalem. Or at least slow it down. So we're gonna be building chapter house for the Knights Hospitallers since we get Hospitaller Foot Knights and now we can take our army an honor orders sire your majesty your will Mohwa Mohwa something like Mohwa. You will move on. Orders, Kaiser. This. Your will, sire. Will move on. Set sail. Orders. Seigneur. Your will, mon roi. Mon roi. Mon roi. Oh, shit. Oui, mon roi. Orders. Oui. Your will, as you wish. Mon roi. Oui. That can't make any spears yet. Oui, seigneur. Let's move to Tortosa. Oui. We disembark here, man. Then we take Antio. An honor. Oui, seigneur. Closing to engage. Our economy is still in the negative. We gained a new family member, a few of our, our priests, and a few generals gained some traits. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's take a look at our family tree. Island the Ibelin died peacefully. Nine eleven ninety-three. It looks like he have been No. The previous king, our Lord Amorai, died peacefully, twelve oh five. Around fifteen years before we, the game started. We have our our king, our Lord John the Honorable, 46. Looks like our factionary is five years old. Rolando, Jahan, 46, 49, 42, 38. Looks like our family tree is good for now. Mua, senior. 50, 21, 4 percent. 3. Okay, we're definitely gonna need to fix acre a bit. As you wish. That's good. Master. The 
let's bring our spy up here. Done for today. Let's go and speak to the Sicilians. You have a proposition for who we are playing as in our other playthrough. This seems reasonable. Yes, we accept. This concludes our Good. meeting, yes? Who controls Anacona? We, at once. The Venetians, they're gonna be our next target. We're also gonna be moving our diplomats. Très bien, senor. Stopping here, senor. Like the Seljuks control Adana. Who controls Antioch? Oui, senor. The Ayubids, who controls Odessa? Très bien, senor. The Seljuks. journey planned out, senor. I shall continue tomorrow, mon roi. We have a good army in Jerusalem. Herak is slowly Wait, what is this? Glory. Let's add a stack of how much? And let's add a stack of levy archers. They're gonna be free upkeep. They are worthless. But they're also upkeep 60. It's fine. Oui, mon roi. Next turn next turn we will be able to Glory siege to Antioch. We attack. This guy. Ready and able. Orders. Orders. We can move one stack of force. I would prefer if it actually was in fit So let's actually leave one stack of Templar sergeants and put this guy down in Jerusalem. Taking the Oriflamme ashore, mon roi. We have good authority with our generals, so we should be fine. Let's actually do some good units instead. Experiment the decent. Fourteen military, twenty-six financial, ten production, eight overall in population and twelve in overall. Let's take a look at our faction ranking. Ayubids. Oh. Seljuk Sultanate of Rome. Oh god. Military. Ooh. Production. Doesn't really matter. Territorial. 11, 12. That's painful. Senor. We do have a lot of castles. We're definitely gonna be needing cities. Which John the Honorable can take care of together with Antioch. I would want to expand towards the Greek. That was that was a suggestion to me. I think I'm gonna do that. Since I know the Mongols are relentless in this version so let's end the turn we got to move this bar Noble one, uh, we have something for Three you. Droids. Can you give me some money? And I can cancel them. A well considered offer. You would speak of something more. And then I cancel them. 
curse upon I'm your so fucking mean. Tongue, if you came to insult us, it has worked. Yeah, I insulted you by stealing your money. Or Resmir Shah is dead. Mongols. It is easy to become comfortable with the enemy you know, our familiar foes. But to discount the menaces that lurk beyond the known world is to risk a rude awakening that can become a nightmare. This nightmare is the Mongol invasion. nothing good but someone told me that it takes around 70 turns before they reach us so we're gonna have a good amount of time to build up our defenses our economy to be able to withhold the enemy a grand tower in Sevilla a magnificent addition to the fortifications of Sevilla the tower of power of the gold has been started by the Almohades. This 12-sided watchtower protects access to Sevilla from the Guad... Guad... Guadalquivir river by employing a chain to block the river. Its name comes from the plans to cover its dome in golden tiles. Okay, I'm not gonna read that yet. We wanna see some action. Alliance announced Poland and Hungarians. Construction complete. We are gonna be building a bakehouse. Or no, we are going to be building paved roads, since our economy is in the gutter. Gives us around 300 and some trade, that's good. Ouch, we're going to be negative next turn, but that's fine. Let's do that. Put it like that, so that their recruitment slot and start turns to the next available company. Twelve. It was the same in the early era, which is why I, I noticed. We have a new a new general, a new family, me, family member coming of age, Bailan Ebelin. Fourteen, military, financial twenty-seven, production twenty-six, population eight, overall sixteen. Yeah, we are not doing so Senor. well. As much as you may wish it, I am not you. So it looks like I think he's gonna An honor. flee if I charge with everything. Senor, you at will once. Senor, so maybe we try this. We splitting off oh. and spreading out. Maybe we can you add some, some of that. Me with a That's almost the same amount of troops he has. Let's take Antioch. We said yes. Closing to engage. We're not gonna do a night battle since that cancels his army in Antioch. I want to kill all of them. Let's 
so two to one. So quite a good general. Good traits. Shibboleth and Rule, Great Crusader. Ice is ripe. Prolific. Founder of a royal dynasty. Not really. Relatively healthy. Pilgrim to Jerusalem. Social drinker. Night fighter. So let's take the battle. Garbage archers. Garbage troops. He does have a general. But we should be fine. We have Knights of Jerusalem and our own general. And good spears. Praise the Oriflam! Bring your honor as we attack! Let's see if sound is good while we wait for the general speech. I think 82 should be fine. Our Egyptian foes should pray to their god. Shortly they will be judged before him. We will send them all to heaven or hell soon enough. <laughs> So to the last, I say this to the enemy general. God's bomb I drop my last bottle. Bouger as the English say. Someone's going to pay for this. To battle! Yeah. Unit, await my order. This is it. Let's start by organizing our troops. Put some more fire. Bad units. Let's put the foot sold foots here. The enemy are bringing in reinforcements. That's fine. Oh, it looks like we have restrict cameras. Let's remove that. Yeah, this is nothing to worry about. Just gonna have to make sure that I kill enough. So that he doesn't retreat into the city. this archer militia so let's start moving our units to charge him let's take these two slowly move forward Where is its general? Okay, you can go back. Do something like that. Moving front. Face charge. There we have it. Our general can go and slaughter the 
archer militia. Our men have slain the Saracen general. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We're taking some damage here. I think we can move these. Please don't be stupid. Broken, that's fine. Looks like this battle is going very much in our favor. Let's start organizing our forces against the others. They have lost half their men. It's good. I'll take care of the archers. Cowardly foe runs. We must push our advantage. Let's do that. It's not quite easy. Active, run. Or moving here. Let's start moving our heavy cav and our general. I think we have enough of 80% of that army. So let's start moving towards the next army and annihilate it. That's somewhat scary, so let's do some shield for Now let's take these two and continue forward. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory no, will be wrong. ours. We are too close. I want to be able to charge. Speakers here. Perfect charge. Okay, that's a scary Only position. The enemy force remains. No, he's he rock good. Now kill his general. Run. Our cowardly foe runs. Kill him. We must push our advantage. I 
I don't know if his general is dead. Doesn't look like it. He should be faster. Than his general. Yes! That was a good battle for us. All of Christendom 262 will be dead our from our side. Today. Mostly because of our great general. We gained two experience with our general. One with our Knights of Jerusalem. Died with a lot of them. Find that good for us since they are so expensive. Yeah, we did good. And now we're gonna execute their armies to gain control no, don't be so of Antioch. God be praised for this victory. Ready and able. Glory to mon roi. We attack. And we don't need to do anything Seigneur, other than occupy. We have claimed this day. Victoire most noble, mon roi. That is going to help our economy a lot. Let's also move with our... I wonder, maybe we can even take Damascus in one turn. How much? 70. Surely we can move one stack of... Broken... Knights of Jerusalem to Tortosa. Yes. Ready and able. I will not waste words on you, infidel. Orders, Seigneur. With honor, your will, mon roi. Sibni Lawadi. Does have a lot in Damascus, though. By your wisdom, God damn it, we weren't able to do that. But it's fine. Oh, and they're free upkeep. Perfect. But we're gonna want to do. Let's actually do some Knights of Jerusalem in Acre. Senior. Now in Tortosa. We're already going for good soldiers here. Let's put our boats in safety. Is it not obvious I am your foe, infidel? Forty minutes. The fourth Lateran Council. In what is becoming known as the Great Council this November. This November, in the year of our Lord, 71 patriarchs and metropolitans, 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 including the patriarch of Constantinople and Jerusalem, 412 bishops and 900 abbots and friars have met. The patriarchs of Antioch and Alexandria were represented by delegates. Envoys appeared from the Holy Roman Emperor, from the Latin Emperor of Constantinople, from the Kingdom of France, England, Aragon, Hungary, Cyprus and Jerusalem, and from other princes. It defines the central dogmas of the Roman Christianity, acknowledges the sacraments of the U U Christ. I don't know what that is and penance needed for salvation. Council also asserts that the Pope's power over the Church and over the kings of Europe. In preparation for a forthcoming crusade, it imposes a four-year peace on all Christian peoples and princes and enjoys the bishops to reconcile all enemies.
next time we might be able to take God's servant. to put this guy here we might be able to take or at least besiege Damascus probably take it anyway I think this is it for Oh yeah, we can speak to the Venetians, trade rights, lions, thousand. Oh yeah, because I'm, I'm attacked. 600. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna be speaking to the... Genoese. We oui, at once. Nobody controls Pisa. Starch has rebels. That's surprising. Bien, senor. Stopping here, senor. Tomorrow's journey planned. Anyway, I think this is it for episode one. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time. Oui, Let's just move our general. An honor. Ready to on Tiok first. Returning to dry land, Seigneur. Oui, Seigneur. Oui, mon roi, full set. Yeah, that's it. Mm.